My name is Oscar. I live in New York City. I produce films, shoot commercials, and direct videos. Movies cost money. I manage the budgets. See that bulge in my pants? That's my wallet. Insurance cards, credit cards, debit cards, library cards, gift cards, membership cards, work ID, business checking, AAA, Metro card, a bunch of things I don't need. Coin is a company that makes one card for all of your cards. That is, all of your cards become one. You know that? What is this? But first I had to see if it would work. Yep, it works. Okay, cool. So let's see if it actually works for me for a whole week. Wednesday, I left my office, took a taxi to the airport, and flew to Los Angeles to make a music video. I rented a car, had dinner with a friend, went location scouting. Tried to hold the camera while gassing up the car at the same time. Thursday, figured out casting, found a farm to shoot at, milked a goat, rented lights, rented a camera, trucks, wardrobe, props, bought food for the crew. Hi, how are you? Have a good night. More gas, more coffees. Finished the video, took the crew out for drinks, got an enormous plate of nachos, which nobody ate. Tried to fly back to New York, but the storm pushed the flights and I went to Philadelphia instead. Took a train to the city and took the subway home. Coin is not a metro card. Not yet, anyway. How do you, how do, you do that, man? <laughs> I was wondering how you do that myself, so I checked out the Coin headquarters and got schooled on swiping. Coin's been developing a super thin battery and Bluetooth signal for the last three years, along with a magnet that safely represents all of your cards and functions with all kinds of card machines. Look at all those swipers. Friday, flew to Mexico City to see my girlfriend. Muchas gracias. Drove out to the Costa Esmeralda, where we just happened to have an entire hotel to ourselves, except for two dogs named Pierre and Philippe. The card still works. Si. <laughs> Monday, back to New York for more editing, more coffee on the gift card. A lot of places that are cash only, more subways, more taxis, rented gear on my Amex, bought hard drives on my Visa, played soccer. Tuesday, went to the mountains to shoot a ski video with an old friend. Some bluebirds, guys. Should be a good one. Bought breakfast on my MasterCard, bought sunscreen on my Visa, rented skis, boots, poles, got a lift ticket, and charged it all on my coin. Then had my friend hold it while doing all these tricks. God, just look at it. All in all, it was a pretty good week. Ditched those, got rid of all these, forgot about those, kept this, kept that. Thanks, Queen.
I believe we're beginning to see the revival of the tradesmen. Those willing to build products the way they used to be built, the way they should be built, by hand, with premium materials to withstand time. We're also seeing a change in mindset, where quality trumps quantity. We're tired of products wearing out and we're willing to pay more for something that will last. I was on a trip a few years back and I reached into my bag and I sliced open my finger. So as a craftsman, I sat down and responded by designing a one-size-fits-all razor cover. It worked so well, I knew I needed to bring this product to market. I was also frustrated by toiletry bags that never seemed to fit into my suitcase. So I came up with a design that was flat and both packable and functional. I paired these two products together and Traveler was born. Traveler can serve as a dop kit, toiletry bag, or makeup case, and comes with your choice of standard or safety razor covers. The entire kit is crafted from full grain Horween leather and has a water resistant finish. At Range Leather, we craft products to wear in, not out, and we're proud to carry on the tradition of the tradesman.